So fellas, I'm before we even start today's video, before we do anything at all, I've got to ask you one thing. You've got to put all your morals and everything that you believe in in good this world, you've got to put it to the side. Because today we're going to do what's known in the Pokemon card community as the most evil thing you could possibly do. And I'm going to show you guys how people weigh Pokemon boost packs to determine if they're going to get an EX or not. And then what they do is they'll then sell the ones that don't have an EX inside on eBay to hopefully not suckers like you because you've watched this video. Roll the intro. Yeah, fellas, uh, today I'm pretty much teaching you guys a lesson because uh, I've noticed on Vintage Pack Fridays and a couple of other things, I always get a lot of questions. I always say like, oh man, I hope these packs aren't weighed, then we don't get good pulls. Um, I'm like, these packs have turned out to be weighed, and no one has any idea what I'm talking about. So, I'll show you guys. Now, I know it's probably against my moral code to show you guys how to weigh a Pokemon Boost Pack, but I've personally never done it before. I don't think half of you guys would even know what I'm talking about. So I want to show you guys what it is, so you don't fall for it on eBay, and hopefully this is like, I don't know, it's either going to make it even worse, or it's going to make it like, better, because you guys will know what's up. Anyway, point is, always buy like, still boost boxes if you can, if not, this is what to avoid. So, today I've got a miniature weighing scales, like weighing device, I can't call these things scales, because I got it from China for $2. Anyway, bought it for this video. So this thing's absolutely incredible. You want one that like uh, measures stuff that's less than 500 grams, because the boost pack's only like between, I don't know, 15 and 30 grams at best. So you're gonna get one, know this kilo, you know, the, what your mum weighs a watermelon on, you don't need that. 500 grams, right, or below, definitely below. So we got this right here. I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna switch it on so it zeroes out. Now. Then you want to get your boost packs right here. We're going to use Forbidden Light because it's the latest set, probably the one that a lot of people want. Um, probably the lot of one that people are going to get scammed on on, uh, on eBay. Alright, so the scales are zeroed. We've got our boost pack here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to measure... What do we got here? Five? Alright, we got five Forbidden Light boost packs. I'm going to measure the weight of all five, and we should be able to determine which ones have good pulls and which ones don't. Maybe we should get six. Alright, let's do six. Just because I, do, I don't know, like, five could have all regular rest. Alright, let's do it. First one right here, we're going to weigh this boost pack, and let me, let's see how much it weighs, alright? Put it on the uh, the counter. 22.22 grams. Alright, write that one on the screen. The next one right here is a Greninja pack. How much does this one weigh? This one weighs... 22.11 grams. So, these two are exactly the same. Which is leading me to think that 22 grams usually means there's just regular rares inside. Let's weigh this one. We're waiting for like a bit more extra weight. There we go. 22.03 grams. Alright. So, so far, if it's working, these should, uh, these should all be the same. 22 grams exactly. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe because of these code cards, they've thrown us off completely on Forbidden Light. If that's the case, I have a few more extras to the side, don't worry. Alright, so we've got second to last one right here. 22 again, and then what do we got here? 22 again, pretty much spot on. So, if you remember, the first one was the one that weighed the most. This one was 22.22 grams. So, judging off this, it seems like usually... If it's 0.22 grams off, it's going to have something inside. So my guess is like this one should have something inside. I mean, hey, maybe we're completely wrong and they've got rid of weighing it. No, okay, we're right. Okay. Damn it. I thought they I thought they fixed it for a second. All right. I'm right. Okay. So it turns out the difference is point, point 0.2 of a gram. But if your scales can pick it up, then like you've worked it out. So we could already tell that this one was going to have something good inside. Let's have a look what we got though. So we've got the code card there, you guys can have that. Just take one code at a time, don't take all of them. Four from the back, let's swing it around, and let's see how much we're off. I have a feeling a fuller card would throw it off a bit more. So my guess right now is maybe a prism card, maybe a hollow card, we'll have a look. Flabibibibib, Gibble, a rock rough, Frofa reverse, hollow card, thought so. So that's, that's pretty crazy that we picked that up. So the second one that we weighed was also a bit heavy, definitely not as heavy as that one. Leads me to think that there's probably something inside of this one, um, because the other ones were dipping more towards the 22. This one was 22.1. So let's crack this one open. Alright. My guess is, yeah, there's going to be something inside. Probably a holo card. Ooh, there we go! 
Okay, so it looks like 22.22 is the minimum. Anything above 22.22 is gonna have something. So there's the code card, so technically, um, none of those were above 22.22, were they? We'll, we'll wait a sec. We're gonna go go a D Denny, unidentified fossil, Froakie, Krogunk, a Litlo, a Ultra Space, and then a regular Air Bomber Snow. So these next four, I think should all technically be uh, regular rares. So we got 22 exactly, we got 22 exactly again, god they're all the same. Then we got 22 exactly, and we've got 22 exactly, alright. So technically these should all be regular rares, because they all weigh exactly the same. But then if, say we get something right, say one of these packs has something, that means the co Ooh! See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. You, I don't think it's actually possible to weigh the modern day Sun and Moon boost packs, because these codes are heavier and lighter to throw off the people that weigh these boost packs, right? So this one actually has something. Let's see, like, d this must actually, like, okay, what's a code card weigh? 1.25, that's what a uh, good code card weighs. Now what's a dud code card weigh? 1.39 That's so interesting. Okay, so this one's lighter and then this one's like much heavier So the uh, the dud one is heavier to make it feel like there's something inside the booster and that worked for me I believe that you see me for a second. I was telling you guys that Dude, that's oh my gosh This it actually works Pokemon you done did good. You like figured the system out haven't you? Gumi, Scatterbug, Burgemite, Pancharm, Malmar Reverse Hollow Infernape. All right, don't get too excited. Ah, okay, that's that's amazing. So we probably don't need to open these uh, last three for bin. I'm kidding. We'll open those in a second. Let me just measure. I don't know. What do we got? We got two, two generations. Now I don't know if they uh, figured it out just yet, but let's measure some generations. So what do we got here? Eighteen point two one. Then the Blast Toys is eighteen point four one. Alright, technically, Blastoise should have something good, Pikachu shouldn't. Let's have a look. Let's go for the good one first. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'm explaining, like, that's what weighing packs is. Now, the reason why I get pretty sketched out, I can't remember what the card trick is, I think it's gonna be three from the back, but I'm not gonna screw it up. Got a Rhyhorn, Psychic Energy, oh, I love this set so much. Reverse Clefairy, Oh, Actually, you're right, it's a regular rare. This set would probably be impossible to wear because there's like two sets in one. So you wouldn't know what you're getting. Let's test out the Pikachu. But the point with like weighing packs, right? The older you could, so the further you go back, starting with Forbidden Light, it's probably gonna be the worst set to weigh because they figured it out. They knew people started to weigh boost packs. If we go like further back in the day, like all the way back to base set, they weigh so easily. The difference when there's a holo card in the pack is unprecedented. The easiest Pokemon boost packs to weigh. It was such a huge thing back in the day. I remember that. <laughs> it rhymed. I'm a poet, but don't know it. Um, I remember when I first started collecting, um, and I found out about weighing packs. I was like devastated. I'm like, no, what the heck? That's actually crazy. But yeah, it's a big, big thing, and I think it's only getting worse with like packs getting rarer and rarer, less and less. Like you know, there's less and less of them out there. People are gonna actually weigh them and try to keep the good ones for themselves. So, if I, if I can say anything, um, especially old school boost packs, if you're going to open them, try to get a booster box, because it's actually insane how many people are out there just weighing packs. Are you serious? We had the exact same pack twice? What the flip? That was insane. So where's the .2 grams coming different? Oh god, this is, this is, this is completely weird. Well, I'm glad I'm trying it, because I've never, as I said, this is honestly a first for me. This entire video, I've never weighed a boost back in my life, but um, I always see people doing it, and there wasn't really a video explaining it too well on uh, on YouTube either. So hopefully you guys understand, and hopefully you guys can be a bit smarter about like you know going about an eBay or going in your local store. Like this does happen in card shops and that people uh, that own the card shops will weigh boost backs and then put out the bad ones. It sucks, but um, unfortunately it's been a thing, and I I know it's a thing from a couple of people. So uh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully you understand, hopefully uh, this video cleared a few things up, and I guess, I guess if you want to just for the lols, you have a like fun trick to show your friends or something, that's how you weigh a Pokemon boost pack. You're just going to get some really miniature scales, pop a boost pack on there, 
and uh, and just go off the point because 22 point uh, something grams is the key number. All right, let's finish it off. Come on, Greninja. So unfortunately, it did look like we had a terrible run here with like just back to back to back to back regular rares. Oh, there we go. Let's finish it off in something good. Fourth in the back. Let's bring it home. How to weigh a boost back 101 Hooper, Lady, a UXE, Burgemite, Helioptile, Scatterbug, Execute, Krogunk Reverse, and then a Hollow. Why the heck not? Because we got three of them already. Look at this. Infernape, Aurorus. Yeah, that's totally cool. Camera just cut out halfway through the recap. No one wanted to. Yeah, that's totally fine. Sorry guys, camera had a hard tag, but I think that's my cue to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was definitely worth trying out. We cracked open a bunch of boost packs. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Pokemon are doing their best to try and eliminate this. And it looks like it's working really, really well. Obviously, there's still like a sort of way to tell. But for the most part, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty safe. Just like if we go further back into the, you know, really old school packs, I think that's when it gets really questionable. Anyway, hopefully you had a fantastic day, guys. Most of all, what are you going to do? You're going to keep on gaming. All right, guys, next episode, I'll see you then.